The 2021 Chevrolet Suburban debuted in Detroit ripe with new platforms, a range of updated engines, and polarizing looks. The Suburban share the same polarizing front fascia as the Silverado. Only, revised LED lights come standard on both front and rear, and new elements in the grille give the two SUVs a more distinctive look over their pickup sibling. A set of 18-inch wheels are standard on both models, but 20-inch units are an option. And both the Tahoe and Suburban grow over their predecessors, the Suburban gains an extra 1.3 inches while the Tahoe grows by 6.7 inches. The engine options are familiar. The base 5.3-liter V8 carries over, still packing 355 horsepower, as does the optional 6.2-liter V8 with 420 horsepower V8. But new for 2021 is the addition for the 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel inline-6. That engine produces an estimated 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Chevy totally reinvents its oldest nameplate with the all-new 2021 Suburban, and it's bigger and better than ever. It shares a lot with the redesigned Chevy Tahoe, however, its extra length and newly adopted independent rear suspension bring more cargo and third-row space. Those traits make the Bourbon the biggest SUV to wear a bow tie, and a serious competitor to enormous alternatives such as the Ford Expedition Max. In addition to its familiar V8 engines, the Chevy now includes a diesel option with loads of torque. Of course, it also offers an abundance of obligatory equipment such as contemporary driver assists and countless infotainment features. The 2021 Chevy Suburban is set to go on sale in the middle of 2020. The 2021 Suburban introduces an all-new generation that features significant improvements. The most notable update is the SUV's first-ever independent rear suspension. This allows much better interior packaging that frees up room in the cargo area and third row. The Suburban is also longer than before and outfitted with more technology than ever. This includes first-time equipment such as an air suspension and a downsized Duramax diesel engine. According to the EPA, the larger Suburban will offer the same fuel economy numbers as the shorter Tahoe, with the 5.3-liter V8 earning ratings of 16 MPG City, 20 MPG Highway, and 18 MPG combined. Stepping up to the 6.2-liter V8 drops fuel economy only slightly, to 15 MPG City, 20 MPG Highway, and 17 MPG combined in rear-wheel drive examples. The optional diesel engine will still likely be the thriftiest, but the EPA hasn't released estimates for that engine yet. Both gas-only powertrains employ fuel-saving technology that includes auto-stop, start and cylinder deactivation. Once we're able to test the all-new Suburban models on our 200-mile highway route, we can evaluate their real-world MPG. Compared with its predecessor, the all-new 2021 Suburban's cargo and passenger space is notably larger. Its second and third rows have a couple more inches of legroom, and the second row seats add adjustments so they can now slide fore and aft. The Suburban's cargo area also expands by 23 cubic feet 145 total, the load floor is flatter and lower, courtesy of the Suburban's new design and independent rear suspension. Most of its popular options such as wireless phone charging as well as heated and ventilated seats were previously available, but its head-up display and digital gauge cluster display are bigger than before. Transporting modern families also requires entertaining them, and the 2021 Suburban has no shortage of infotainment and connectivity features. Along with an optional rear seat entertainment system that includes two 12.6-inch screens mounted behind the front seats, every model has copious charging ports throughout the cabin and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Likewise, a standard 10-inch touchscreen is fitted into the center stack and supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.